Today I want to talk to you and show you a peek inside my Amazon FBA listing and processing desk. Uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to show you some of the stuff. Um, you know, I'm going to bring up some of the stuff and show you some things, but some things I'll just show you on the screen. So this is a rare occurrence. This is a rare occurrence where my desk is actually clean. My desk is clean. It's dusted. It is, uh, you know, things are organized. Uh, that's because I knew I was going to show you. Usually there's stuff all over this. There's notes, there's receipts, there's all sorts of crazy stuff all around my desk. So let's, let's just get started. First and foremost, I've got my MacBook. MacBook could not do it, do this business without my MacBook at all. Um, I, I was a PC owner for years. I always get frustrated with PCs and the Mac just um, uh, is great. Yeah, I, I'll make sure that on this video I don't show my wife's desks in, in the background. Um, it's not as organized as mine is right now. So anyway, so the Mac, MacBook is awesome. And then of course, I've got my barcode scanner here. And this is something that just saves so much time. You don't want to spend time having to type in each individual number when you're wanting to list an item on Amazon. We use Inventory Lab. It's so easy. We just, you know, scan uh, the barcode. It goes right into Inventory Lab and is we're able to list that. Um, behind here, obviously, is a bunch of books. I love to read. I love to expand my knowledge. Of course, right now, I'm in the middle of reading this book, Start With Why. This is our first book for our book club. If you're not a part of our book club, you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash book club and, uh, and join us. Um, and whether we're still on this book or we've moved on to the next book, you can join us and read. Uh, and, um, and we'll, you know, continue learning, keeping each other accountable, and... This book's been really awesome, and I hope it's been helping you too. So let's see what else. Um, I got a baseball here because sometimes when I, I'm trying to think of something, I just like to have it in my hand. It's not, you know, I don't really need this to make good profits on Amazon FBA, but it's just something I like to do, something I like to have here. Uh, this is the little scanner monkey uh, mascot. I am a scanner monkey, and I really love that Facebook group. If you're not a member of that, it's a paid group, and it's, it's something that really... Um, you know, it's, it's a really good group. Um, outside of the Mommy Income group and the full-time FBA Facebook group, Scanner Monkey, those are my top three Facebook groups that I spend my time in, and, and we love it. And, of course, I've got acronyms in the background on, uh, on little post-it notes. You hear me say this probably all the time, follow one course until successful. Well, I, even though I say this all the time, I need to be reminded of it. And so I have that there. And then start making sure I can... I, I, I get going on the things I need to do. Schedule the action required today. So that's something that I, I always need constant reminders of. And I got my my sec my uh, external not external my dual monitor. I've got a second monitor because sometimes I like to watch you know videos of training videos while I'm listing on this computer over here and and it's really good. Sometimes I like to have up on this computer I'll have. Uh, you know, Seller Central open with all the certain orders and I'm trying to fix things and over here I'm typing up emails to Amazon to fix things and so it's just so much easier um, and, and I really love that a lot. Back here, uh, they don't do this anymore but I, I framed this. This is, I got awarded Top Holiday Seller in 2012 and, and that means that in, during the 2012 holiday season that my, my sales ranked among the top 25% of all of Amazon. And in addition, I had a customer satisfaction rating of A+. And they don't do this anymore, um, but uh, but they did that. 2012, I think, was the last year that they did that. I started selling on Amazon in uh, November of 2011. And one year later, I was able to make the top 25% of all Amazon sellers during the holiday selling season. So it was it was really good. That's just an inspiration and so if you've got inspirational things, if, whether it's framing your first sale, framing your biggest sale, things that inspire you, put that on your wall. I have other things that I have on my wall that inspire me. I've got pictures of, of my family, you know. I've got, um, I've got my, my Texas Rangers calendar so that, you know, I know what's up. And then I've got cool little notes from my kids and from my wife on there that they've given me. Um, I've got some scripture verses that stand out to me really help me and right here i've got the amazon.com sales rank chart if you don't have this yet uh, you get it free fulltimefba.com forward slash sales rank 
And it's the top uh, percentage items of each of the major categories, the top 1%, 5%, and 10%. And it really, really helps me out a lot. Um, over here, I just got some fun stuff. Mail, I've got an autographed baseball. I've got my Mommy Income mug. I've got my Scanner Monkey and Scan Power glasses. I've got Nolan Ryan, who's always telling me I'm doing a great job. You know, am I doing a good job, Nolan? I'll take that as a yes. All right. So, i uh, got my Dymo printer. I cannot live without the Dymo printer. Uh, printing out the labels one by one so that I can just affix them on the item. And it's really good stuff. The rest of the items I will show you uh, this way. Just because if you don't already have a headache or you're not already dizzy from me moving the camera all around, uh, this will just be a little bit easier for the rest of the way. For the things that I use. So... With the Dymo printer, obviously comes uh, Dymo labels. Um, you know, some people use the the off-brand Dymo labels, and and they're good with that. Um, I just I, I like to use the Dymo labels with the Dymo printer because um, it just you know I, I know that the the knockoff labels might be cheaper, but again, you get what you pay for, and it might not be the best for the machine. Um, I also have the Dymo label writer cleaning pad. Uh, and that, that just cleans it every now and then so that it stays nice, nice and clean. Um, I've got a whole bunch of other items, and I'll, I'll show them to you in a second. But if you want to, to see pictures of these, links to where you can find these, you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash FBA hyphen desk. So if you go to FB, fulltimefba.com forward slash FBA hyphen desk, It'll give you all the links and all the pictures of the things that I'm showing you today and even more. Okay, so I've got some other stuff, in including some little tips and tricks. Uh, you might not be able to see this, but these are little circle clear stickers. You know, um, I like to use these if, I am, if I've got a new item and the original stickers that have held the item closed are not working anymore. Maybe they're peeled back. Maybe... They've fallen off, and I just kind of want to reseal those items again. You know, I use that. Um, I have um, a bunch of different types of stickers to help me with making sure items look as the best condition as possible. Say, say you have an item, and there's a little mark on it, or maybe there's a tiny little tear on it, or something, and and you just you want to be able to sell it as new. Well, there's a few things that you can do. I've had some some gold, you know, stickers like this or some thank you stickers like this that I put on the item and it just kind of covers up that little tiny blemish. Um, and for the really small items, I've got some hologram stickers. All of these I just found on Amazon. Sorry for the glare. Um, and I just put it over those tiny little blemishes. And, you know, the, the customer, when they get their item, they see this. They see that there's a thank you sticker on there. Or a little hologram sticker on there and you know they don't think anything of it sometimes if you ever have an item that has the price printed on the box that can be pretty frustrating you're like what do I do there's you know I've got the prices actually on the box well I've used these type of items to cover up those prices and here's another trick to do before you put these put, put these over the price that's on the box take a little bit of, of super glue and you, yes, yes, these are self, these are already, you know, self-adhesive stickers. But if you put the glue on the price that's on the box and then put the sticker over it, if by any chance the customer peels off the sticker to, you know, take it off, the, the price part of the cardboard will also come peeling off. So um, it's just a way to protect yourself in case you're selling something uh, you know, a whole lot more than the price that you paid for it. I mean, that's what we do, right? We we buy things, uh, you know, like there was a uh, R2-D2 inflatable um, lawn decoration, uh, you know, item, and it had the price printed on the top and on the bottom and on the side and on the other side. And I'm like, what, 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 what's going on? So I took a sticker, put a little bit of super glue and just covered up the price and... Everything's good, you know? It, it still looks good, still looks professional. And so I suggest you do that too. Another thing too that I use all the time um, is magic erasers. You know, I've got a knockoff brand magic eraser because I found it at a garage sale. But I also use regular brand magic eraser. And those are things that I, I'll, I'll clean up. Um, you know, if there's like a little 
a marker or or pen or a crayon mark or some type of dirt that just won't come off. You know, sometimes I'll use a little goo gun to get some of that off, but if that won't come off, the magic eraser is able to clean up a lot of stuff. I've been able to take some books that were in good condition and get them upgraded to very good condition by being able to clean up some of the stuff on the cover and on the back. And so a few things that, you know, really help me, and it it's, takes just about 10 or 15 seconds to rub the magic eraser on it, and it looks better, and I'm able to sell it for a little bit more. So magic eraser... It is magic. It is awesome. Um, I've, I've got the 30 up, uh, you know, labels. Um, I have these as backup in case my Dymo printer isn't working for individual. I also use these and print out things like um, expiration dates, uh, you know, for, for, you know, I have a, a, a sheet where it says best buy and then a blank forward slash blank forward slash blank. And we can just write in. Um, so, um so that's really easy. And then plus sometimes I just need stickers that are going to cover barcodes because maybe there's some item that has multiple barcodes. And usually, you know, I'll use I'll use my Dymo label. I mean, yeah, my Dymo um, label to cover up the barcode. But sometimes there's more. I want to use these because these are a lot less expensive than than these. So that's something that I use a lot. Um, oh, I wanted to, sh yeah, to let you know that on the hologram... Um, sticker, um, there's just a little serial number. So it just looks really official, like it's a serial number. It doesn't say anything, you know, like a personal message or anything. It's just like a little serial number in case you're wanting to keep track of things. Um, you know, and if you've got certain items that are really expensive and you do want to keep track of things, then you can put this little hologram on there and, and you've got your little number that's you're able to, to keep track of it and if a person returns something they can you know make you want to make sure that that's that lines up um, obviously my printer printing out my my labels um, you know Amazon's got rules they, they want to make sure that um, that you have a certain type of printer um, you know I use an inkjet printer they don't uh, I don't think they're, they're wanting laser printers when you're shipping um, you know printing out shipping labels and things like that. Um, and then, of course, there's just regular, it probably just looks like a white piece of paper to you, but, you know, adhesive labels, uh, sh adhesive shipping labels to set, you know, because it just print it out, stick it on the box, and send it off. Um, let's see, there's, um, I've got my Astros trash can. This is, uh, you know, it's vital to my success. I'm a big Astros fan. I got my Astros trash can. I got my Texas Rangers um, calendar. I'm a big fan. You want to have, be surrounded by stuff that's fun, stuff that you know reminds you of things that bring you joy. That's why I've got pictures of my wife and my kids around here. Um, you want to be sure that all that stuff is you're surrounded by that because you don't want to get so caught up in work that you lose sight of of the real reason why you're doing it. You know, you don't want to lose sight of your your why. And so I've got those things that surround me. Um, and yeah, in the background, I've got Minute Maid Park. This is World Series game uh, three of the 2005 World Series. Um, right up here my, is my dad and my older sister. They're somewhere up there in the, the stands. Um, I went to game four um, when the Astros got swept by the White Sox. It was bad. Anyway, but it's fun stuff. I'm surrounded by all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, let me see if there's anything else that I've left out. Oh, I've got a uh, essential oil diffuser that's going in the background. It is diffusing some spearmint and lime, I believe, um, some citrus and some spearmint going on, making the room smell really good and welcoming and inviting and uplifting. And uh, so I, we love essential oils, and uh, and they're a lot. A citrus bliss and spearmint is what it is. That's the combination. That's my favorite combination, and uh, it smells really good in here right now. And I think that's that's. That's all the things that I use almost on a daily basis in my Amazon FBA listing and, and prepping desk. You know, we use Inventory Lab as the program that we use to input all of our information. You can go and get a free trial at Inventory Lab at fulltimefba.com forward slash inventory lab and, um, and learn more about what that is like. They've got videos and promos and stuff to help out with that. But if you want to see... The links and all the pictures of the things that I've talked about today and more, you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash FBA hyphen desk, and you'll be able to find all those things. And um, maybe it, you can, a few of those things you can add to your business that will help you save some more time, make some more money, and have some more fun.
That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a little thumbs up below. That would be really cool. And if you have a comment or a question, you can do that below too. Any of the links that we talked about during this video, you can find that in the description below and it will take you right where you need to go. And if you want to be sure you don't miss out on any of the future videos, be sure you subscribe to this channel and you'll be able to get notifications when our new videos are posted so you don't miss out on any Amazon FBA information. And if you want to learn more about me and the website, come to fulltimefba.com, where as always, it's my goal to give you the strategies, the tools, and the confidence you need to turn part-time hours into a full-time income with Amazon. Well, that's all for today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.